looks like we got our ring cleaner back in here. A flexing, baby. <laughs> the blue corner down with style. I'll tell you what, he's definitely getting his moments in here this evening. And we're going to look at our next MMA fight, which will be fight number six on our card here this evening. As we mentioned, Cody Blevins and fighting in his debut out of the red corner from Jeffrey, West Virginia, and David Mullins. 0-1 in his career, fighting out of the blue corner from Lenore, West Virginia. And this is going to be an interesting matchup as well. Again, 155 pound weight class. Looking at these two, Elijah, what do you see from Cody Blevins uh, coming in here for his fight tonight? Well, uh, he's a boxer. He said he came into the sport just because he loved it. He's a lifelong fan, and uh, he's a fan of anime. And this is his debut, and I think uh, I'm really excited to see him get started. Yeah, David Mullins again, six foot five again. That'll be big for him tonight. Again, has about six, seven inches on Blevins. I just noticed that. That is interesting. I'm sure his. Uh, we don't have their reach listed, but I'm certain David Mullins will have quite an extensive reach advantage. And I'm looking to see if David learned from his last fight. You know, he lost a knockout against Bobby New, but before the knockout, what we did see with David, he did a very good job at keeping range. And he was throwing good kicks, I mean, good dads. He just had his hands down and got caught. I mean, that's just a part of the sport. So I'm, I'm excited to see if he's learned from it and really just mastered his skill set because the way he's built, I mean, he's built for success. One thing we should talk about in this fight is that uh, Cody Blevins missed weight. This fight was originally supposed to be at 155, and uh, Cody Blevins weighed in at 168, so he missed weight oh, wow. by quite a bit. And uh, David Mullins props to him he agreed to fight him he, he didn't care what he weighed he said uh, I'm here to fight so yeah talk about that weight advantage I mean uh, most, most of our viewers out there definitely understand that being outweighed in the fight can obviously be a detriment and if you look at it I mean it's 13 pounds that we're looking at on paper but those 13 pounds can make a big difference when you're talking about a fight and this magnitude this type of style well there's differences in power there's different and especially with grappling like that makes a huge difference. When you're wrestling with somebody and they have an almost 15-pound uh, weight advantage, it's like you can tell. You can feel the difference in strength. And uh, a big thing is David Mullins cut a lot of weight. He's six foot five and made 155 pounds, which is very rare for a guy that tall to weigh that. So it wasn't an easy cut for him. He really had to dehydrate himself and work hard to get to that weight, and his opponent didn't make weight. So that's got to be frustrating. I was going to say, it's probably a lot of sauna trips. Well, better. that's the thing, <laughs> and it drains you. And the problem is, you know, if, if, he w if you're a fighter, let's just let's, let's face it. You know if you're going to make weight. So a few days out, if he would have said, hey, I'm not going to make weight, don't worry about cutting so much, that would have kind of been the thing to do. That's some wild-looking shin guards here for David Mullins here. But I mention it because props to David Mullins for so, accepting this fight, even though his opponent missed weight. Yeah, I was going to say, Mullins definitely has the very intriguing chin guards on right now. Definitely looks more tie-dye. 70, 70 Might be chasing the rainbow a little bit. <laughs> and now uh, Cody Blevins, too, he's listed as primarily a boxer. And he's up against Mullins, who's more well-rounded. He's a kickboxer. He's got jiu-jitsu experience. Uh, he said he first got into the sport watching the first new line card. So he's one of those guys that's local, and he saw this sport, and he's like, I can do this. Yeah. And now you see he's making a go of it. Now he's making his way to the ring right now. Mullins already in his corner, awaiting. And now Mullins, or excuse me, Blevins rather, will go ahead and get his pre-fight regimen taken care of over on the far side before he enters the ring. But this will be our second MMA fight of the evening. Again, our first one, we saw Dallas Conley and Tyro Kitchen with Kitchen getting a first round knockout. Uh, submission, I should say, and at the end of that one. So this will be a different weight class, as we said, about 20 pounds less. What is maybe the difference between that as opposed to the first fight we saw in that weight class? Yeah. I'm interested. I'm sure that uh, David Mullins, even though he weighed in at 155, he's had a day to rehydrate. So I would say he's uh, probably walking around at closer to 165. I was going to say, he's probably might be a little bit in a 165, 170 range. So right I now. would say it's about even, but like I say, Blevins didn't have to go through all that fatigue and, like, cutting weight. That's one of the hardest, body, hardest aspects of the sport. I'm curious to see if David's going to uh, 
implement any takedowns into the strategy here today. You know, we watched him last fight, and it seemed like it was a, just a lot of high kicks and keeping the range real well with the jabs. I'm curious to see if he's added anything new to his arsenal. If Mullins can keep him at range, it's going to be very, very hard for Blevins to get inside. Uh, it, it, he's just so much taller and so much lankier. Like, you and, do not see many people who can make 155 that are 6'5". And, foot and five. if you're Blevins, what are you going to do against a guy that, you know, has so much of a reach advantage over you? What's your game plan? you got to get inside. you got to get into the clinch. Or uh, you got to make it dirty. If he's looking to box, you got to be like Joe Frazier. Get in there in his face, stay in his chest. And, like, start ripping hooks, ripping uppercuts, make dirty boxing. I'm telling you, Josh Barnett, Randy Couture style, staying in his face. That's how you do it. You said that was one of the big problems Mike Tyson kind of had whenever he fought. You know, he was so so much smaller in height there when he had to always get on inside of you. And he and had that peekaboo style where he would bob and weave yeah. and use that to get inside. That's a little tougher to do in MMA because you got to worry about head kicks. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the interesting part of this. Again, weight versus height. As far as we're looking at this now, and we're ready to go for round number one between Harris and Mullins. He's definitely unloading on him right off the rip. Oh! 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 It is all oh! over! Oh my God! Oh! It's not off of David Mullins. That man, he threw the fingers at him! Wow. Woo! He definitely came out with this. Wow. This new fight sharp as a tag. David Mullins looking Alabama sharp. Young man. Absolutely beautiful knockout. Wow. Knockout of the night so far. Oh, man. oh definitely. I think he may he, I think David Mullins just made him pay for missing weight. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> we see the replay yeah, right look here. At here. Look at this. He came in here, he said, I worked it hard, worked. I made weight, and I'm gonna show you. Bam. Bam. Right on the and then he chin. said, he said hold on, one, let me get you a little bit of whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Good night, baby. Huge and then watch the double right. fingers he throws at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's the thing. He came in trying to close that distance, but he rushed it. Like, that guy's so long. You don't want to be on the right. end of his punches. And I, and I think the thing with David is, you know, that, that's how he got finished the last fight. And then I think he just had a revenge factor to say, hey, you know what, I've been on the opposite well, end, and, and I'm going to make a statement tonight. Blevins did not respect his power. No. He didn't think he was going to hurt him, so he rushed in. And he was looking to hurt uh, Mullins, but Mullins said nope. And I was going to say right off the bat, it did look like Blevins was able to land a nice one-two combination, like like he might be able to get inside of him. He but was, once he backed he up, was backing Mullins down. Yeah, and once he backed up and gave himself that space, that reach for Mullins was able to catch him with that right hand, and it was just night night from there. And Blevins still looks flustered right now. Oh yeah, yeah, he doesn't know what happened. He's you can trying see to this well on the left side of his face. Yeah. He's just realizing like they're jabbing right. a little bit of jaws. Seems like they've got quite a bit of mutual respect, though. He's given. He it up. definitely deserved that win. Beautiful, beautiful performance. In 13 seconds is all it took. Gentlemen, it's going to be hard to beat that for knockout of the night. You got that right. I mean, that was. Just it did happen right seconds. in front of us, though. Yes. It was exciting.